Hello Year 6, Miss Harrison here. Today I'm going to be doing your spelling lesson with you. However, before we start, I'd like to say a massive well done to those of you that have been completing your home learning. It has been amazing to see the amount of effort that has gone into the work and it's also been a delight to be able to read the work and respond to you when you send it into our Year 6 email account. So please keep up the hard work. Also, don't forget to be logging into Spelling Shed so that you can complete any of the activities that have been set, but also to check to see who our weekly champion is. Now, for today's lesson, you are going to need a pen or a pencil, some paper to write on or a whiteboard, anything that you've got at home that will work. At some point, you are going to need access to a dictionary, but you can use an online dictionary for this if you don't have a paper one at home. Also, one of the activities that we are going to do, you will need to have a partner, but you can do this at a later stage if you've got no one to do this activity with you today. Today, we are going to be learning about the letter string ACC at the beginning of words, which makes the letter sound A. To begin our lesson, how many words can you jot down with the ACC sound at the beginning? So, my turn example would be, I have come up with the word accurate and the word accuse. If you look very closely, we have got our letter sound A, C, C in accurate and our letter sound A, C, C in accuse. However, you need to be very careful when coming up with these words because there are certain words that have the same A, C sound but are spelt differently. For example, the word actual. This has the same sound at the start, but it only has one C in the actual spelling of the words. So your first activity is how many words can you jot down with ACC at the beginning? If you'd like to pause the video now and see how many you can get in a minute. Welcome back children, how did you get on? Later you could check the words that you have written down just to make sure that you have spelt them correctly. Maybe you could then write in to our Year 6 email and tell us how many words you managed to come up with in a minute. So for our next task you will need a fresh piece of paper and your pen. Now it's your turn. So what are these words? For each word, the first few letters have been removed. So your task is to add A, C, C at the beginning of each one to see what the word is. So for example, the first one has been done for you. The A, C, C was originally removed, so you had the letters O, M, P, A, N, Y, when we add on ACC, that returns to being the word accompany. Now, can you finish off these words with the ACC at the start? Again, if you'd like to pause the video and continue with your next task. Good luck. Right, let's see how you got on. So, as you can see on the board, we now have the correct spelling of the words. So, we have the word accompany, accommodate, access, accuse, accost, accrue, accuracy, accomplish, accumulate and accentuate. Now there may be some words on the board at the moment that you do not know the meaning of but that is absolutely fine because one of your later tasks will be to use the dictionary to double check the meaning of each word. In year six you are doing really well so far. So for the next activity that you are going to need to do, you are going to need a partner and you are going to have to draw a simple noughts and crosses board. I'm sure many of you have played noughts and crosses before, but uh, today we're going to play it slightly differently as we are going to play noughts and crosses with the ACC words that we have just looked at. Hopefully you haven't got rid of the words, but if you have, don't worry, as I'll put them back up on the board for you to have another look at. Okay, children, the words that you are going to need for our noughts and crosses game are now back up on the board. 
You and your partner will need to choose one word each from the list that you can use for playing the game with. I'm absolutely certain you'll have all played the Noughts and Crosses before, but I will run through the rules as a reminder for you. Anyway. So, uh, as you can see from my board, the rules for word Noughts and Crosses are the same as normal Noughts and Crosses. You each have a go, take it in turns. As you can see from this, my word here is the word accompany, and my partner's word is the word accrue, taken, both taken from the word list that we have already been using. So, as you can see, we've both had two goes. I'm wondering if it's, um, if who's now going to win the game. It is my go again. So, for this example, I will be putting my next word into here. which now means that I have one because I have three in a row. When you have had a go first time, you and your partner can replay the game using two different words from the ACC word list. Let's see who can win out the best of three. Good luck and enjoy. Okay then year six, I hope you enjoyed your game of word noughts and crosses and managed to win a round. Maybe you won best of three, which is fab. You've done ever so well so far. So for our final your turn task, uh, we are going to have a look at three chili challenges, just like we do in the classroom. There are a range of tasks for you to complete. Please use your growth mindset and have a go at challenging and pushing yourself to complete um, one, of the, one of the other chili challenges, if not all three challenges, that would be even better. Before you do the challenges though, I would ask you to use a dictionary. As I said earlier, you can use a dictionary online or you can use a paper dictionary to look up the words uh, that you do not understand from our ACC word list. Uh, you won't be able to complete the rest of the activities if you're not sure of the meaning of these words. Okay, so good luck with your final task. So then children, your chilli challenges are now up in front of you. Just like in the classroom, there are three challenges to pick from, but please have a go at all three if you'd like to. So first of all, your chilli one challenge is to draw a picture to help you remember the meaning of unknown words. Your chilli two challenge is to write your own definition for some of the ACC words. Your Chili 3 challenge is to create mnemonics to help you remember the definition of some of your words. Now the Chili 3 challenge is, is quite challenging today, so I'm just going to briefly explain what a mnemonic is. So a mnemonic helps us to remember facts. It can be written as a rhyme, an acrostic or letter linking. So to rewrite a mnemonic for our ACC words, you need to start with our letter string ACC then think of a mnemonic for the remaining letters. So for example, the word accost. So if a policeman was to accost a uh, criminal, the policeman might shout, Oi, stop there. So as you can see, our letters in red are A, C, C, O, S and T are our words from accost. And the rest of it are words, letters and words that have been added in to help us remember the meaning. Okay then children, so if you'd like to pause the video now and have a go at your chilli challenges. Right then children, that is the end of our lesson on the ACC sound. I hope you are now feeling a little bit more confident in the correct spelling of the words that we have looked at. It would be lovely to see some of your mnemonics sent into the year six email address so we can have a look at what you did to try and remember the words. Can I just remind everybody to be logging on to Spelling Shed as well so that you can have a look at this week's words and um, also complete any games and challenges on there, for, on there so that we can find our weekly champion. If you have any queries or questions, please just email the staff at Year 6. We're always happy to help. All right then, children. Bye.